Hey, who's ready to do some art? I am, and I hope you are too. So I'm gonna show you how you can easily make a butterfly. And here's the thing that's going to make it easier. Now you might be thinking, Mrs. Nichols, I've made a lot of butterflies in my day and it was not that hard. No, it doesn't have to be hard. But the thing about butterflies, and I don't know if you've noticed this, but when you look at them, one set of wings on one side is exactly the same as the other side, right? So sometimes if you're trying to color or paint or do something exactly the same as something else, it's a little difficult. So I'm just gonna show you an easy way to make sure that your butterfly wings are symmetrical. So, hey, another cool word there. It just means exactly the same, even on both sides. So I've got some examples here. They are, you know, they're not fabulous, but just to show you kind of what I mean. So if you have a butterfly whose one side looks like that, well, you wanna make sure the other side looks exactly the same, right? Um, same with, well, this one. Oh look, it's gonna be exactly the same. And of course, so is this. Let me show you how I did it. And you may have figured it out already. And if you did, good for you. So it doesn't take a whole lot. Now you, um, you can use different types of paint. The only one I would suggest not using is watercolor. Watercolor doesn't transfer as well, and you'll see what I mean in a moment. So I am using this washable tempura paint. Again, most of the stuff I get, I'm cheap. I get it at Walmart. So I do have this stuff. I will tell you that I have this old paint I've had for years, and it's more of a professional grade tempura. It's not washable. This one gives really, really rich, deep, colors um this washable stuff the colors are fun but it doesn't seem to be as thick and rich as um the non-washable type is totally up to you also i got a whole bunch of different types of brushes different sizes um what i'm going to use today though just because they're super simple are sponges um now this is a fancy sponge this one has the little handle on it and I do have some that are already circles, which is kind of cool. Um, though if you are allowed, if you don't have something like this, you can always ask if it's okay to use like kitchen sponges. You know, just make sure they're completely dry and it works pretty well. So let me see, where's my paper? Oh, here it is. So easy peasy, we are going to go ahead and make a butterfly. You can use pretty much any type of paper too. Uh, notebook paper might uh, be a little more difficult, but you don't have to go out and buy like fancy types of paper. Um, if you do like getting different kinds, I do um, have this painting paper. I got it, hey, where do you think I got it? Yeah, at Walmart. I just picked up what's called a paint pad. So it's a little bit thicker than a lot of papers. Um, so you can see it's a little more stiff too. It's not as flimsy as like construction paper. Anyway, this is what you need to do. Also to protect your tables or whatever surface, I am using here a couple of things. I've got this tray that I'm putting on the table and I'm also putting a piece of cardboard down just as added protection. And I've got my paint. Again, I've got different colors of this washable tempura. And I went ahead and squeezed some out here, as you can see on a paper plate. That paper plates work really well for things like this. So with your paper, here's the easy way. I'm not gonna draw out a butterfly. I am going to fold the paper in half. And kind of how last week, how we did folding paper to make it easier to um, create those flowers. Same thing. This is just going to make it a little bit easier. So I've got the folded edge facing me, just like I did with the flowers. And I'm gonna draw out 
just kind of the outline here of some butterfly wings. Now, I'm going to admit that this is not exactly going to be the most scientifically accurate butterfly. Although, I did add, whoops, kind of hard for me to see where, what you can see. This is going to be part of his antenna. All butterflies, well, all insects have two antenna. All right, now I'm gonna cut it out. Another thing that is keeping this from being scientifically accurate is that butterflies don't just have two wings. It, on each side, they have two. So in actuality, these would be two separate wings. They're actually separate. It's not connected here. So that's the same on both sides. So they actually have four wings which is kind of cool instead of just two. So if you take a look at videos or see pictures, see if you can see the different wings that they have four, not just two. So again, I'm gonna make sure he's got some antenna here. I'm gonna make that part accurate at least. Now, if you wanted to, you could draw in like the butterfly body once you open it out. Another thing I'm gonna do since I've opened it out is he doesn't have just one giant antenna, he's got two right on top of his head so I'm gonna just cut that in half so I've got my two antenna here and if you wanted you could draw like I said you could draw the body the butterfly they have a head an abdomen and the thorax normally the thorax does come down Whoop. that looks weird <laughs> so see this is where um, yeah, well, whatever. That looks kind of odd. Ta-da! We got a beautiful butterfly. Oh, but wait, there's more. So here's the easy part, you guys. Again, like I was saying, a real butterfly, one side is going to look exactly like the other, and that might be kind of hard. So what I'm going to do, and I'm just going to do this really quickly, is I'm going to just create some little fun things here. And you're going to notice, <coughs> excuse me, ah, that I'm only going to do this on one side. So make sure that you are only painting on one side. And this is also where it is, um, you do need to use paint here because if you try doing this with crayons, it's not going to work. And I will show you why in a moment. And again, you can do whatever, whee, whatever kind of designs you want. Uh, da -da 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 -da. Whoop. Okay. And this is what you do. You fold it and press down. And one thing I had noticed with this washable tempera, take a look at this. Can you see all those ridges in there? Like all the lines? So that is when I folded this butterfly and I rubbed it. I was rubbing it like that so that when I opened it up, I got all of these lines. It looks kind of cool. I kind of like that. It gives it some interest. So it's not just a solid color. So again, it's a good thing that I put this down because as I'm pushing down some of the paint was squeezing out of the sides all right and you just open it up and look I have a symmetrical butterfly oh and you can't even see it Ta -da! symmetrical butterfly so he's gone through his metamorphosis and now happily living his life <laughs> Okay, uh, anyway, hey, we did some art. And like I said, you can be as fancy as you want. If you really want, take a look at, um, at butterfly wings. They're gorgeous. Some of them look like stained glass. Um, actually, I think I may have some like that on the next slide. Okay, hey, have fun. Enjoy painting.